The World Cup is fast approaching and fans from all around the world are already making plans to witness it live in Qatar. And just like with all trips, there are many factors you would want to consider before travelling to this World Cup. In this video, we'll be talking about some of the things which may make fans cancel their travel plans altogether and watch the games from their TV sets at home instead. So here are three reasons why fans may not want to be at the World Cup later this year. Number 1. Human Rights Issues In the past few years, there have been many accusations of human rights violations by Qatar, and these violations have come in various forms. One of these is due to their anti-LGBT laws. You see, Qatar is a very religious country, and they have strict laws prohibiting the LGBT movement. So naturally, there have been fears that queer people visiting the country for the World Cup would be affected by these laws as well. However, the country has denied such claims, stating that they would respect their beliefs during the tournament. Queer people aren't the only ones at risk of getting punished for sexual activity in Qatar. Heterosexual people are affected as well. That's right, the laws in Qatar only permit sexual intercourse between married heterosexual couples, so any sexual activity between non-married people attracts a seven-year jail term. And with the World Cup coming this year, these laws will affect fans visiting the country as well. What this means is that if you choose to go to the World Cup, you can't have any sex unless you're married. That means no one-night stands, no casual sex, but most notably no victory sex, even when your country wins a big game. Well, unless you're married, of course. Surely most fans wouldn't like the sound of this one, and this may just make them reluctant to get on the plane to Qatar. But of all the human rights issues, the most talked about one has been the one involving the construction workers. You see, when Qatar won the bid to host the World Cup, they didn't have a lot of facilities in place, so to correct that, they began hiring workers to help build these facilities, with most of them coming from other countries. Now, hiring construction workers isn't the problem. The real problem is the conditions in which they work. These workers have been subjected to terrible working conditions, and as bizarre as this may sound, thousands of them have reportedly already died because of these working conditions. This has made many people express disapproval for the World Cup happening in Qatar at all, and many have even called for a boycott. With these stories coming out of the country, some fans might actually be scared for their own safety, and well, this might be enough to reduce the number of fans willing to be present at the tournament. Number 2. The Harsh Weather Conditions Of course, everyone has noticed that this year's World Cup is being held between November and December rather than the usual June and July. And no, they didn't just move it because they felt like it, they actually had a very good reason for doing so, and that reason is the weather. Oh yes, the weather in Qatar is usually pretty hot, and this is even worse in the summer months of June and July. Now, that might not be much of a problem for citizens of the country, as they are already acclimatised to it, but we can't say the same for people coming from other countries. For example, imagine going from the relatively cool weather of your country to one where the citizens are barely just coping. And imagine making this trip in the hottest period of the whole year. Surely that is bound to be a nasty experience for most people. And if you think we're exaggerating about just how hot Qatar is, we're not. They actually have outdoor air conditioners installed just to make it bearable for their own citizens. And now they've also added these air conditioners to the stadium. Well, one thing we can say is that it was a great decision to move the tournament to the cooler winter period, because if the World Cup went on to be held in the summer, then we just may have seen cases of random fans passing out on the streets due to dehydration and overexposure to the sun. Number 3. Inhospitable Conditions Aside from the hot weather in the country, there may still be one other problem for a section of fans – uncomfortable accommodation. You see, Qatar might be very rich, but they are actually a pretty small country in terms of size. And when you're hosting an event as big as the World Cup, you would expect hundreds of thousands of people to be coming to your country. So it's safe to say that Qatar will face some challenges accommodating that many people. But if there's any country who will be able to deal with those challenges, it's Qatar. So to accommodate that many people, the country is providing over 100,000 comfortable hotel rooms for visitors. And as many as that sounds, they know that it still won't be enough for everybody who's coming. So you know what they did? They provided about 1,000 outdoor tents to cater for those who may not get hotel rooms. 
Now, these tents sound like a really good idea and have been equipped with power generators and running water, but there is still one major problem with them. They lack air conditioners. Yep, pretty surprising, but true. And to make things even worse, the fans who will use these tents would have to pay about £160 per night. In our opinion, that's too expensive for a tent without air conditioning. And we get the feeling that most fans would agree with us. Imagine spending all day outside cheering on your country in the heat and still going back to sleep in a hot but expensive tent. Surely that's not an experience that many of them would love to have. And so, it's a huge possibility that people wouldn't attend the World Cup unless they're sure to get hotel accommodation. Surely, you wouldn't fault a person who chooses to miss the World Cup for any of these reasons, would you? But do you think these problems outweigh the level of excitement they stand to gain by travelling to Qatar for the World Cup? Well, one thing we've learned is never to underestimate the passion in the game. So knowing football fans, most of them would defy these odds just to have a taste of the fun live in Qatar. So what do you think? Do let us know in the comment section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to get more cool videos, just hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Bye bye.